Hi everyone. Um, I've been doing my script for a new process excellence workshop and it's the first time I've actually done the repeating section into documents and it actually surprised me just how easy straightforward it is. I thought I would break it down into a little how-to video. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look at Nintex Workflow Cloud forms repeating sections into document generation. I'm going to open up my form and I've, I have built this out, but when we get to the relevant areas, I'll, I'll go through the, the config and then we'll run a solution at the end. I'm going to design my form. Um, I already have the repeating section in there, but let's have a quick look at what that repeating section actually is. So the repeating section itself is called equipment requests. This is important because this is actually a collection variable that gets passed through to workflow. That's where you're going to use these tags uh, in, in document generation in the docgen tagger. In my repeating section, I've got a couple of different controls. So I've got a vendor choice control. Um, I've got a quantity control, which is an integer. I've got a currency control for the price per unit. And I've got a total control, which is currency. Now that's actually going to be um, updated by a rule calculate the row total. So if we get something in price per unit and quantity, we are actually going to fill with this line total variable. And the line total variable is the sum of quantity and the sum of price per unit. So the quantity times the price per unit. That's just a variable and that's going to pop that into each line item. So back to my designer, back to my Equipment requests, multi-row, so I can get add new row. Um, so if I preview this form, let's just pop something random in here. Um, yes, uh, we need to have the actual email syntax in there. And if I go to my next page, if I select, so let's say, quantity five times $100 of whatever it is at Dell, it's a $500. Add new row, select my next vendor. Let's do 10 times 1,000. We've got my line totals auto updating and we've got a grand total here too. But I really want that to live in a document. Once I submit, once I sign, I want that in, in docgen. So let's pop back to the workflow and see how we're going to get there. We're going to create an item in um, this SharePoint list. And what I want to do with that item is actually add the generated document once it's been signed as an attachment. I'm going to use SharePoint library as my template store. So we're going to pull a template from a templates library into the workflow and we're going to use docgen to tag it. Now here's what the template looks like just now. Pretty plain. Um, it's got some variable values in here. So they're just coming from that docgen tagger. So I'm just going to finish this off by doing the specific repeating section um, elements. So if I go back to my generate document action, if I open my Nintex document tagger, in fact, first of all, I actually need to add repeating data in so the tagger picks it up. So if I add repeating data here, this is where I find this just super easy. The collection is that collection, which is the repeating section, equipment request repeating section. So if I go to my start event, form variables, equipment requests, I'll just insert. And then what do I want to repeat by? Well, for me, I'm sort of using that row, that that row by row, add new row capability. So I'm going to do row, and it's as easy as that. So now what will happen, when I go to my open Nintex document tagger, you'll see that I have, obviously, all the other bits and bobs in, in the workflow. So I've got some um, date strings in there. I've got my start event variables, which is, this is all new layout too, which I think is really cool. Uh, and I can pick up these tags and then paste them into the document. But what I'm actually most interested in is this new section here, the workflow repeating data tag. So if I open that up, I've actually got the equipment requests tag. So everything that lives in that sort of repeating section. So I need to get those tags into my document template. So let's just make the window a little bit smaller so we can get both side by side. And I'm going to open my template. So before I put in the individual column templates, I need this start tag. So I'm going to click on start tag and I'm going to pop that in. 
I'm going to then use my vendor. So it's actually going to start in the first tag. So I'm going to paste that one in. Um, and I don't think I want this bold. So let's just take the bold off the tag. It's just inherited that from the, the document. I'm going to put in my quantity tag. Because I've got the start tag in there, I don't necessarily need that. I'm going to get my price per unit. And I get my total. And so long as I'm grabbing them from this equipment requests repeating data, it doesn't matter um, how many table layout tables I've got in the layout, it's actually going to keep repeating for me. Everything else is okay. So I'm just going to um, close this because it, it should be automatically saved back to the template library anyway. There we go. So all that I need to do is save and publish this workflow, and it should now just um, work for me quite nicely. So let's just publish and we'll run a quick test. So that's it published. I'll just open the form in the tab ready to go. And this one's cool because it's it, it's not going to do um, any tasks or anything. So we should quite quickly get just to the signature element. So I'm just going to complete my form here. Uh, let's just go with the executive department. But here's what I'm most interested in. So let's say we've got 100 Dell mice at uh, $30 each. Don't even know if Dell make mice. Uh, we've got um, a dozen Microsoft surfaces um, at 1,000 each. So let's just quickly sign the document. And again, this signature image can go in there as well. Submit that off. It's redirecting for me. It's actually going to redirect to um, Mine Intex, which is a nice little capability. And we'll just wait for that document to come through. What we'll actually do is just open up email because that's going to come into the email for here. Okay, so it's done its thing. It's generated the document in the in the background from the template. It sent it to me for signature. So what I really just want to see here is that table. So I should have two distinct rows in the table. Fingers crossed. There we go. So we've got my Dell 100 mice um, at $30 and my Microsoft Obviously, we could add dollar signs if we wanted to in the template, um, and it's ready to be signed. So that's how we would use the new um, repeating data capability in Nintex Workflow Cloud and DocGen. I love it. I think it's really, really cool. It was super easy. Uh, and yeah, hope, hope you enjoy it too. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.